hot corn on the cob and aluminum foil. You put your hands on this corn on the cob and aluminum foil, and you just hold it on there for like 10 seconds. And then I ended up winning round two. And that's what I'm saying. Like, that's how warmed up I was from corn on the cob. That so, sounds rather corny. I really hate you. <laughs> Alright. Well, anyway, that was a good segue to get into the match. <laughs> All I right. just handed that one a silver platter. You, you did. That was a pretty good pun yourself. Yeah. Food, silver platter. Yeah. I um, like food. Fast food pull. Anyway, Matt.Z versus GSO. Both players from New England, if I'm correct. Um, now, I'm not too sure. I've never seen GSO play in my life. But he's using Vanilla Fox, showing that he has he has the, the willingness to learn. When I see a fox with white the white costume, it's like a neutral fox. It's like a fox that will play defensive when he has to, but I can also go really aggro. The neutral can be really slow or really fast. Whereas red foxes to me are always they go you know, super in. I feel like anyone that uses red is angry. Yeah, yeah. Armada. Does he use red? I think he uses deep. Does he for fox? I don't really He's a passive fox, but he's like a very angry passive fox. <laughs> passive aggressive for sure. <laughs> okay, see, so yeah, like that, that would have been textbook Matt.Zeb, and Ooh. that's a shine. No text Matt.Zeb. Now, GSO, the early lead. Beautiful, no tech. So, the one thing that Matt.Zeb is, he like pauses, and so a lot of new players, they don't know what to do since everybody goes like short hop, short hop, short right, hop. Right, right. And so, in that panic moment, you do something dumb, and that's what Matt.Zeb capitalizes on. I feel like to play Fox effectively in this matchup, you gotta be like three steps ahead. You have to do things, and you have to have your fingers, like the muscle member, ready to do it. Even if you know it might not hit, just do it anyway, and it's like performing. Yeah. It's like playing the piano, like you know what's coming next, just make sure you do it and worry about actually executing what happens. So it's. The hit confirms. Exactly. Yeah. And uh, GSO, you know, doing the right counter as well. Crotch cancel, earned him a lot. And in my opinion, you, you cannot be a good Fox in this game without having a certain uh, reaction time. Like, you know those like, reaction tests online or whatever? Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure if we were to test every top Fox player, they would all fall under a certain, under a, a certain threshold. I'm like really awful at reaction, so I'm not a Fox player. <laughs> there you go. <gasps> oh. oh. This was a totally janky game. Yeah. So, <laughs> Matt Dot Zeb killed him at like 62. He had a big look of disapproval. Yeah. <laughs> and he got the shine spike at like 5. I'm gonna make a hard call here and say that that was a salty chuckle, not just like a oh I don't care chuckle. That was like a pure salty chuckle trying to maintain his cool. Ooh, MDZ used to be known for the salt back in the day. He um he actually we we, we were playing at Rom and I love the guy. Yeah, he's a great. Yo, set up the score. Can we get a clap for that? Uh, press three, I guess. Uh, press yeah, press three or Kappa. So I'm playing Matt Zeb and I win the first game. I think I'm up four stock, two stock, and then yeah. he, like, he, he rage quits. Or refresh something. I don't hate your sentence word. So he, he rage quits, and then game two starts right. And I'm like, okay, um, I'll ban Yoshi as we go to battlefield. I think like the, 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 the game starts and he forward smashes me, I sh and I grab him. This is four. This is zero percent zero percent, and I grab him, and he resets the game. <laughs> That's so funny. Four stock to four stock, mono imano, and I look at him like, can you come back here and play control? We finish the match, and he just walked away. So I offered him, I'm like, I know, just, just play it out. But he just wasn't feeling it. It's alright, that happens. Sometimes when you know you can't win, it's just mindset's half the battle. Well, I mean, he's got a lot better, and he's oh, definitely yeah. an awesome Mindset scale. and, and playstyle. Alright. Seems like GSO wants to get in on the Ford Smash party. Ooh! Uh, SD. Yeah, I'm not a. Uh, uncharacteristic. Nothing. <laughs> from that time, so. Sweet so, nothing. So, you know how you beat Ford Smash? Oh, uh, how? You shield. Yeah, forward <laughs> shield actually has a 100% uh, effective move. As long as you shield my part of your body. Yeah. It seems like GSO is just uh, shielding a lot, and that's why none of Matt Dodd's jank is working. Yeah. There. Ooh, he misses the edge guard. Ooh, short. <laughs> okay, right there. Textbook Matt Dodd's up. You knew he was going to get it. Yeah, you know. It's like <laughs> short and into full <laughs> Oh. Dude, the stublet on the right side prevented GSO. Yeah, yeah he did. yes he did. The infamous stublet. Okay. So GSO is keeping it simple, but... Yeah, um, he, he, he's not overextending, which I like about that. Maybe he, he knows Manitum has kind of an unpredictable, sort of like, zesty playstyle. And so he just wants to like keep it calm, one step at a time. Oh my lord, <laughs> I would have freaked out. Yeah. I was smashed to Sour Smash. I think that decision was questionable because there's no reason for GSO to not tech left. I thought after the other smash he should have just left it. But yeah, you're right. You're up at the yeah. And the reason why is because, you know, if Matt.Zeb gets a follow-up, you tech it, and then you get out. Yeah. 
Why, why go into open space? It's pointless. The forward wow. smash. The, another forward smash misses. And, and this Edgar lands. Geo so kind of just ran away with his set. Yeah. And, uh, Matt, feel disappointed. And I think that's an interesting oh, thing. Three forward smashes like he's given up. Um, when you um, go into the night and you know your opponent, you can do a little bit of scouting, yeah, yeah, which yeah. I'm pretty sure you know you do before top eight. I do, I do, but um, it depends on the player. Like, I don't, I only scout before top eight. I never really scout for um, top 48. I just kind of practice the matchup. Yeah. Like I was, Reno was the first thing I played all day. Which is probably why I played a little sloppy. That, but um, I can't. I imagine that GSO took notes because a lot of that game plan like counters Matt Zeb's jank specifically. Yeah.